Well, this is the first video in the new and improved and cleaned up uh, shop. Uh, painted, reorganized, moved some stuff around. Everything on this side of the camera looks much nicer, much more organized, clean, bright, and all that. And everything beyond the camera, behind that you don't see, is just a pile of crap and it looks like shit right now. Um, but it looks good on this side, so that's what you're going to see today. And today, we're going to look at a FEG. This is a PA-63, made in Hungary. Um, in about 1950s, 1950s, um, FEG started making these, what it is, it's a copy of the Walther PPK. It looks like one, shoots like one, you know, uh, breaks down like one. Um, <clears throat> sorry about the throat, to keep clearing my throat, this uh, remnants of the COVID. Yes, I did test positive. Um, that's why I made a video in two weeks. But now we're back and in, in a clean shop. But we're looking at the, the FEG PA-63. This is a seven round, um, it's a nine millimeter short or a nine millimeter by 18. Uh, here in the U.S., we call it a 380. Um, it's a, it's a, as you can see, it's just a, it's a little bit smaller than the nine millimeter round. Um, this is a double action, uh, automatic, semi-automatic, um, magazine fed. Um, <clears throat> and if you're unfamiliar with the double action, that this is going to scare the crap out of you. You have, say, we have a a round chambered, all right? And you see the, the red, red you're dead. We wanna put this on safe. I drop the safety down and the hammer drops. You go, holy shit, I just fired the gun. Scare the crap out of you. No, all you did is you just put it on safe. It's a hammer drop safety. And now when you're ready to go to work, we can flip the safety off, watch the trigger come up, and now I can go to work and it's a double action. So, kind of a, kind of a, Kind of a nice little uh, double action, uh, semi-automatic uh, baby nine millimeter, nine millimeter short. Um, you can see they're real easy to take apart, really easy to break them down. If we want to do a quick little field strip to clean it, first we'll make sure the gun's, the gun's empty, the gun, gun's been cleared. Um, you'll see that this trigger guard is hinged. That's kind of the giveaway. What we'll do is we'll pull this back push off just a little bit to the side so it'll stay open. We'll take our slide, move it all the way to the rear, lift the back end of the slide, let it come back forward. There's a lot of spring tension, a lot of spring pressure there. We'll take the slide right off. We'll grab our rec recoil spring. That comes right off. And that's about as far as we want to go for a field cleaning or you know just a routine general cleaning. We'll put it back together. We'll slide the spring back on. And this gun's looking pretty dirty. I'm going to put it back together before just for the video. We'll put this, again, move that slide all the way to the rear, down, and it's right back on again. We'll put that trigger guard back where it belongs, and we're back in business. So there's a, there's how to do a quick field strip and put it all back together. Took this one out to the range. John Henry had a lot of fun shooting it. It can go in double action, but I'm not gonna do double action. Tiny, tiny little sights. Um, it's like a little squirt gun, basically. Um, <clears throat> James Bond can hit stuff a mile away, and he one-shot kills. He's way better than I am. I couldn't do that with these. Um, these little tiny sights, I had a hard time uh, looking through them. It's kind of hard to hold still. There is a little bark to it, you know, being such a light, small gun with that, with that 380. Um, would be a good pocket gun, a nice concealed gun. This one came in its original leather holster and came with two magazines um you know i can see carrying this on your hip that flap holster you're not going to get it into service real quick but it would be well protected from the weather would be well secured and you do have your your a pocket for your spare magazine right there on the on the holster kind of a kind of a, kind of a nice little setup um so this one came with you know it's magazine and a spare magazine and like i said you're going to see a lot of these fegs if you're looking for one on you know the surplus market you're gonna see with the, the, the alloy frame and there's gonna look like, you know, aluminum, it'll look like that silvery aluminum frame. This one has been Duracoated. That's why it's, it's solid black now, but it did used to have that, that, uh, that uh, silver looking frame. Uh, John Henry and I baked on the Duracoat finish and so far it's been holding up really, really well. Um, so there are a couple chips in it though, I have to admit. Um, it's not impervious to being handled, you know, it's gonna, it's gonna show some more eventually. 
um, but it does look a lot better. I think in my eyes it does look a lot better solid black than it did with that, with that alloy frame. Um, nice little gun, uh, great little caliber, that, uh, that uh, 380, you know, seven, seven shots. I do like that. I do like the double action to get this thing into business really quick. Um, it would make a nice carry gun, a nice backup gun. It's very, very light, very compact. Um, probably do everything you want it to do. Um, I wouldn't take it out shooting and it wouldn't be my target or hunting uh, handgun, but as far as personal protection, as far as carry, as far as concealed carry, I think this would be a nice little uh, option. Um, you know, there's no rail on it, there's no optics, there's no fiber anything, there's no, you know, laser this or no, you know, uh, optical that, but this is all you're going to need if you want to get into some serious trouble and get yourself out of some serious trouble. Um, well, <clears throat> from the new shop, please like and subscribe. Um, those likes really help the, uh, the, the, the metrics and finding the videos and subscribers. I'm trying to get more subscribers. If you just want to, it won't cost you a thing. Subscribe and uh, we'll see you in the next video.